I was thinking of the immortal words of Socrates when he said, I drove what? Eat steak and drink whiskey. Welcome to Off Grid and Whiskey, you awesome squatchers. I am at my sister, the gun runners. I repeat, um, this is what I'm thinking. Sex bomb woman. I'm gonna blow you down. Sex bomb woman. So, what's my point? Now this is what I'm really thinking when it comes to the whiskey wagon. You know, I got a post anal drip right there. Let's zoom in on my post anal drip right there. So in 24 hours, I get about 10 drips. <laughs> it just happens. I don't know. Ever since New Orleans, 1992, <laughs> it just keeps dripping. So this dude said, just tighten all the bolts around your oil pan because they're probably a little loose. That's the cause. So let's try it right now. Before we tighten the bolts, uh, we got a, a word from our sponsor, Lou Glutz. <laughs> Hang on. I just got to come up with some character. Lou Glutz Motors, you know, I got to come up with some cheesy accent, you know. <laughs> what do you think? Hang on. Get my shades. I'm Lou Glutz. I need a blonde flowing wig, though, to be, be him. Come on down, Lou Glutz, we'll drive you nuts. You know, something like that. Um, don't be a putz, come to Lou Glutz. You know, our number one salesman is Ed. You think you hate it now, but wait till you drive it. Ladies, is a man stroke, it ain't for you. Uh, let's see, what was I gonna say about ladies? You can't even, you, you can't even look out this truck without some sort of heavy duty undergarment wet protection. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't have your own heavy duty undergarment wet protection, there's some in the back seat. Don't be a putz. Buy from Lou Glutz. Oh, the last bend over. Yeah, you come to Lou Glutz, we got rubber gloves. Yeah, you can see the post anal drip right there. That's the fresh one. That's 24 hours. So the goal is I'll tighten all the bolts, the Michael Boltons, and we'll find out. I'll wait 24 hours. I'll change my shirt and everything and see if it drips. Okay, we're deep under the whiskey wagon. Let's, uh, you can see the post anal drip off all these bolt, Michael Bolt heads. Let's see if these are loose. Oh yeah. Hang on, oh geez, come on. All right, so this guy may not be a total a-hole. This, this awesome squatcher that commented, tighten all these bolts. There's like, you know, you can see how deep is your love. What is there, 100,000 bolts? Uh, most of them did turn. Some turn a lot more than others. So I'm confident that the post anal drip idea, this could work. Let me flip the cardboard and wait 24 hours. Where's your, where's your clock? I'm gonna take Dorothy Mantooth out for a nice seafood dinner and not call her. That's what Lou Glutz would do. Ever again, I'm not gonna call her. Oh! 24 hours. 24 hours? All right, we're back at Lou Glutz Motors. It's been 24 hours. <laughs> We've got a cracked timing case cover. Uh, radiators damaged to the core. Okay. okay. But there's no leaks. No post anal drips after I tighten all those Michael Bolt heads to the oil pan. And I'm impressed. Thank you, you awesome squatchers, for finally someone has some good advice on this channel. Hey, Carter, up your nose with your rubber hose. You know, it's like a hickey on your wiener. You don't want to put cardboard down everywhere you go in someone's nice driveway. The hickey on your wiener, by the way, just never goes away. And this one, this drip went away. <laughs> Unlike 1992, New Orleans. Oh, that could have been the Cancun foam pit party. Yeah, that was the same year, the foam pit party in New Orleans. Ooh. I'd also like to add that I have my father's gun and a scorching case of herpes. <laughs>